sample of data and using that sample how do i make inferences about the population right there could be some statement saying uh, uh, saying the average height of an indian male is somewhere between 160 to 170 centimeter so i cannot typically uh, go and measure the heights of each and every person and find out the average so what we are doing we are doing a sampling process we are trying to collect the heights of some number of people and using that sample we are trying to make some inferences about the overall population that is what uh, any statistical process is meant to do you start working on a small sample of data and uh, using the characteristics of what you got from the sample you make some kind of conclusion about the population of the data so that is what we call as statistical inferencing process we collect a sample we do some calculations on the sample and uh, based on some procedures of that sample we are making some kind of conclusions about the population so as a part of this chapter at least our focus is just to get uh, acquainted with get acquainted with at least the two different uh, uh, two different uh, kinds of inferences one is specific means if i have to make some kind of inferences uh, relating to the means of the population what is the kind of uh, testing i would be using and the other one is reference to the variances if i have to make some kind of conclusion or some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, populations mean or some kind of population variance uh, estimation kind of stuff then i can use the how do i use the sample to actually talk about the population mean and population variance is what is uh, just being covered as a part of this session so whenever we are talking about uh, the sampling process as we just uh, now looked at we take a sample of data taking that sample of data is a very critical task we take a sample of data and we infer something about the population so here we will uh, look at how do i infer something about the mean of the population by using the sample and how do i infer something about the variance of the population by using the sample data itself what is that i can uh, 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 do on the top of the sample mean to to estimate uh, the population mean similarly what do i do on the top of sample variance to estimate the population variance so basically what is the sampling process for us you select a sample of individuals from the population and whatever the calculations you do the attributes based on the attributes of the sample you actually have do some calculations on the sample like mean the variance the standard deviation we have done so many things on the sample now based on that you you use central limit theorem or concepts like that to take an estimation to the population level so whenever we are talking of sampling the better sample which we always look out for is a random sample a random sample is nothing but every item of the population has an equal chance of being included in the sample i mean i'm not biased about select including or excluding a particular uh, particular uh, observation from the sample so each one has equal chance of being included as well as equal chance of being excluded and what we are also saying is the central base because of the central limit theorem the estimation of the population mean process has become quite a comfortable kind of stuff because it has made a clear cut assumption that the sample mean will follow a normal distribution with a mean uh, equal to the population uh, mean and a variance equal to sigma squared by n so because of that kind of uh, uh, that kind of an assumption which is being brought about by the central limit theorem 
we will uh, we will uh, we can make prediction about the population uh, uh, population uh, mean quite comfortably based on the sample mean if the sample size which we are selecting is large enough irrespective of the distribution of the of the sample we can very well uh, make sure that uh, the population uh, mean uh, the the sample mean will follow a normal distribution so the estimation of the population mean is never a difficult point there now whenever we are talking of the statistic which is the calculation which we are doing on the sample mean is a statistic especially if i do it on sample when i t if there are two words we have to be comfortable with a statistic versus a parameter when i talk about the mean if the mean is for a population we call it as a parameter if the mean is for a sample we call it as a statistic same way variance standard deviation anything if we compute on the population we call them as parameters so we will always estimate parameters we have to estimate a mean we have to estimate the variance using the statistics right so we'll will compute the statistics based on the sample so there is nothing called unknown value in case of statistic because we know what is the sample data which we have taken so the mean or variance whatever we are computing on our sample it is the statistic which has no unknown values but the different the, but the problem is that the the same sample size if you take some other sample if i take some other sample then the statistic could be different in each of the samples as we have looked at in the example uh, in the in the central limit theorem case also the moment i change the sample with even though it's the same size the because the sample changes probably sample mean changes sample variance changes so the statistic itself is a random variable the sample mean itself is a random variable so the distribution is also an important thing for us and we have already seen based on the central limit theorem the sample mean will follow a normal distribution right so whenever a question comes to us about mean of the population estimating the mean of the population we can very well uh, use the normal distribution as long as the size is uh, greater than 30 as long as the sample size is greater than 30 40 50 kind of uh, numbers large we can very well say that the sample mean will follow a normal distribution so any question that is regarding to the sample mean we can very well assume that it follows uh, a normal distribution and we can do the estimation of the population mean through that process and we are also saying that uh, as the sample size becomes larger and larger what is the variance of that uh, sample mean the sample mean we said it follows a normal distribution with a mean equal to the population mean and if it is a variance equal to sigma squared by n so if n becomes larger and larger as the sample size get bigger and bigger the variance becomes smaller sigma squared by n becomes smaller and smaller which means the accurate results can very well be produced so wherever the question is about uh, predict the population mean we can directly use the normal distribution for a prediction purpose just a quick look at here number of motor insurance claims reported on successive days during a randomly selected month can be considered to come from a poisson distribution with lambda equal to pi 